this is going to be a quick explanation on what I'm doing. So, right now I've got this beautiful landscape, and I'm trying to get the picture of it. Now you might notice these flowers are not going to look the same as that sky. Like, you just can't get that lighting to look right. So what you do is there's a mode called HDR. It takes three to five shots, and it will essentially increase or decrease the aperture a certain number of steps. This lets you get both the flowers uh, in the correct lighting and the sunrise. So you don't have to take two different pictures and combine them. It does that for you. Um, now, usually, now, depending on what camera you have, you might have to still combine them like I do in Lightroom or some similar app, but it just does it automatically for you. It just figures out how to take the best picture given a certain aperture or a certain shutter speed depending on what you want. So, yeah, that's how HDR shots are done, and that's why as well. For the HDR shots, once you are done taking a set of pictures, like what I just finished, you can go back and look at them and you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five shots in that sequence, all of which are, have different levels of brightness. Uh, that's what it will look like afterwards each time. Most of those pictures are horrible and you will never use, and they only look good combined. So don't be disheartened when you see, oh no, all my pictures are bad. They're actually not. 